Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of InfoSync Daily. This video is sponsored by Recon with Me. Recon with Me is a solution for websites and application security. You can use Recon with Me to know your website's security status, find weaknesses, manage bugs, and fix them instantly. Recon with Me finds bugs fast, gives accurate results, and helps prevent cyber attacks by 80%. Do check out the link for Recon with me in the description section below. The internet is one huge part of our life and we constantly use it on a daily basis. We are so consumed in it that a day without it would seem unusual. But yet we haven't reached all parts of it. Today, in this episode of Decoding series, we will be talking about dark web. It could be something you have heard it on the internet, or this could be a first time. So what is the dark web? Firstly, the dark web is not a place, but the term that describes parts of the internet that hide your identity and location. For starters, the web can be divided into three categories. First, there's the surface web. That's everything that is open and available, like everything that can be found through a Google search, like Facebook, YouTube, and other platforms that we usually use. After that comes deep web. It is a portion of the internet that's hidden from the conventional search engines and it contains unindexed websites. Here you can find personal information like medical records, corporations, private data and so on. And finally comes the dark web. Here the sites are intentionally hidden from the search engines. Sites from the dark net can only be accessed through special browsers which use masked IP addresses to hide the real identity of the users. Which is why dark net or dark web is popular for the total anonymity. To get access to the dark web, one would usually have to use special browsers such as Tor and Freenet. So where did this come from? Although the dark net became popular later in the time, its invention dates way back than one could imagine. On 29th of October 1969, a couple of university students typed the first message between computers and it was connected via ARPANET, an early ancestor to the internet. ARPANET, Advanced Research Project Agency, was an experimental computer network created in the 1960s by Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Project Agency. Back in the day, the concept of connecting computers together was a radical idea, but later it slowly progressed to the modern internet. Ever since the start of internet, numerous illegal activities have been done online. In fact, one of the first ever e-commerce transactions was a drug deal in 1970. It was done between two students at MIT and Stanford. In the 1990s, the internet went mainstream and became publicly available. A revolutionary concept at the time, millions of people started going online and using for themselves. As time moved on and people got more familiar with the technology, they started to experiment. A popular medium for music consumption at the time, CD along with the release of MP3 made it easy for people to rip CDs. And it wasn't long until those illegally ripped music made its way onto the online forums and later on a music sharing website called Napster. Not just limited to music, people began exploiting movies as well. Soon, the internet's data transmission gave birth to a number of decentralized data hubs, which were password protected and known only to the insiders. This was an explosive darknet activity as users began sharing copyrighted materials from one to another. Later, in the mid-1990s, a technology called Tor was invented. Tor stands for the Onion Router and is a browser which allows users to exchange information anonymously. Browsers like Tor are the backbone to the dark web. They give anonymity to the user. They hide the identity of the user by bouncing the connection through three different servers around the world, adding a layer of encryption each time. So that was a brief introduction on the dark net and how it started. Dark web being a vast topic, not all parts of it was covered in this video, but do stay tuned to see more of it in our upcoming videos. Stay tuned to know what actually happens in the dark net and do let us know what you think of this episode in the comment section below. This is Midoji signing off.